Hey there. Hi. Welcome to Zen in the Void. I am your girl Zen. This is the boy. And you know I love you. What's up? My son Ray. <laughs> My son Ray raising moonbeam. Sorry. I'm so tongue tied. I just ate a salad. It's still lettuce in my mouth. But hello, my sun shine and moon beams. So happy you're here with me today. Taurus, yes. I'm reading for Taurus today. We're gonna do a little quick one. Hopefully it's quick. I'm doing this read because it was requested by a friend of mine, nice friend. Uh, so this is for you. You know who you are. Let's get it cracking, all right, spirit? What messages do you have for Taurus today? I feel like Taurus didn't show me enough love, honey. Y'all stubborn asses. Y'all probably didn't want to read it. I'm just playing. Let me, no, I'm serious, but let's get into it. That's neither here nor there, you know what I'm saying? This for Taurus. What's going on with Taurus right now, spirit? What's going on with Taurus? All right, what's happening with Taurus? Clear and concise messages, wow. Okay, we got one that just flew out. I look tired, but I'm not. I swear I'm not. I'm so real west, re well rested. Ooh, tongue tied, honey. I'm so real well rested. It's just that, you know, like I said, I just ate a salad. It's still a little bit of food in my mouth. Honey, I just did all these other readings, but let's, let's just get into it, Taurus. Let's see what's going on with you. First and foremost, honey, the death card just flew out. Taurus, y'all are going through a rebirth, honey. Metamorphosis. Y'all are going through a little death, big death. You know, take it as it resonates. But y'all, that's the tone of this whole reading. So it could be a big death, you know. But uh, definitely going through a, a death, a, a, a rebirth, transition, metamorphosis. Let's see what else comes out for you guys, Taurus. Let's see what this is about. Let's see what y'all got going on. That's beautiful, though. Death is, a rebirth is always good to me because you just you get to become a new version of yourself. It's just about leveling up, you know? People see that card and be like, <gasps> you know, gasp. But, you know, it's good. Um, These cards just slid out, so I'm gonna just take them. You got the Knight of Wands here. You're definitely about some action. Now that you have this rebirth, Taurus, you're definitely about that action. You have energy, action towards something in your life. You're you're planning it. You're methodical. You just want to go at it with full force. If I'm being quite honest, but you definitely um you're in your knight of your knight of wands energy, and, and you got the nine of wands here. That's about resilience, grit. You know, you're very resilient towards whatever it is that you're after. Um, which is good, you know. That's that's one of the signs of Taurus, like one of the traits of Taurus. You guys are stubborn, but like in a more positive light. It's like when you want something and you really want it, you really work hard to get it, Taurus. This is who you are, you know. And whatever it is, you you come out of that Taurus energy that just that Taurus energy that's more laid back when it comes to you know you're you're ready for some action. You done got up. You ready when the Taurus gets out of bed and comes out of like prince and princess mode you know really like ah oh, oh, i love it i love taurus but um you guys are out of that mode you guys got resilience there's something that you're wanting that you're putting your action towards you got the six of swords here in the upright let's see what that card is about got the six of swords honey so yeah definitely in a more like i want to say y'all not there's not a whole lot of grounded energy coming out quite yet, Taurus. So I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like since y'all came out of this rebirth and this metamorphosis, y'all are y'all on some other shit. You know, if I'm being quite honest, it just seems like two wands came out next to each other. That's fire. That's passion. That's action. Y'all feel some, some then lit y'all fire, you know, and, and, and made y'all just want to act. Um, we got the Six of Swords here. This card is about leaving behind something, moving on, transitioning from something. So Taurus, you know, after this rebirth, you have all this action and this passion. It could be helping you to transition, leave behind, move on into this new space, onto something new. It could be a new living space, a new mindset, or just a new way of being. This what you did go through a rebirth, because so it could definitely mean that you're leaving behind an old way that you could have been doing something 
you're moving on you know you're transitioning so you know the the vibe i'm getting for these first four cards coming out is the fact that you did a lot of transitioning you got two cards about transition here and moving on that's the death card and that's the six of uh the six of swords then you got two wands cards saying that you got passion you got fire you want action you're ready you you done you done rebirth now you ready to you ready to go you ready to move forward with something Taurus let's see let's see what what you want to move forward with what is it all right spirit what else for Taurus what else what else is going on for Taurus great spirit clear and concise messages for Taurus let's try and get go another five minutes here maybe. Whoa. This card flipped over, so I'm going to just take it. And then two other cards came out, honey. All right. Okay. I don't know what just made me want to flip that over, but, like, I'm going to just do it because something made me want to do it. So you have the Ace of Cups here. Ace of Cups, that's, like, straight up, like, newfound sense of like spiritual awakening like you done came into after this rebirth that you had Taurus you done came into this whole new spiritual awakening this whole new this whole new space new feelings spirituality intuition you are tapped in you tapped into your damn intuition into yourself you have all these new feelings towards spirituality you know towards yourself that's beautiful it's falling under the death card so that's showing me that after this death that was the result of it it brought you all these new feelings new spirituality intuition that's all good you got the ace of wands here in the reverse that's you know that's a little interesting for it to be in the reverse it says that there's a lack of energy here a lack of passion and boredom that doesn't really make sense to me because you got all of these cards saying that you're oh well i guess because even though you came out of this this um this uh this rebirth you could now need to like sometimes after you come out of that sometimes you just need some time to just like you know refresh yourself restore yourself i don't know if that's what the case is but you know i'm just taking a wild guess uh, outside of the cards but you got the knight of wands here you want to take action you want to go for something full force you know you're feeling adventurous for sure, yeah. You feel fearless. And, and this can just be feelings inside. We can feel fearless and want to take action and adventure all day and have resilience. Maybe that's why resilience is here because you have this lack of passion, lack of energy, lack of, uh, you know, this boredom. I don't understand the boredom because, like, you have all this passion and this fire here and you're resilient and you're moving on. Maybe something that you're moving on from something that you're leaving was boring you know maybe it was just like you know it was just like repetitive and you're just like look i'm i'm done i'm sick of this like you know what i'm saying um so we, we can clarify that for sure real quick i got the ace of swords here you definitely have a you know like with this ace of cups like this ace of cups and this ace of uh swords together lets me know that not only you have this new clarity of mind with the ace of swords swords is mental energy you know logistics air energy you know uh your mind so your mind is clear crystal clear you have a new sense of perception like you you see things in a whole new way a fresh way a beautiful way and then you got all of these new feelings towards spirituality so like emotionally you're feeling very clear and then mentally you're feeling very clear uh so you could be having the passion to uh and the energy and the you know you know just the all all the ingredients necessary as you know by way of the fire element to help you move on from something that was boring you were sucking your damn energy and your passion away which is beautiful, but why is this Ace of Wands here in reverse spirit? Why is this Ace of Wands here in reverse, great spirit? We're gonna end this in a couple minutes. Why is this card here, spirit? Well, I'm gonna take this tower card because it flipped over and then I saw it and then I put, like, some just be telling me to do shit, so I just do it, honey. I got the tower here. If this, if the tower card is clarifying this Ace of Wands, you definitely, 
you definitely came out of something that you probably transitioned from and left behind and moving on from whatever it was it it, it, it sucked your energy it sucked your passion you were bored you just didn't want to be there the tower means that it just that fell up all of that shit is falling apart either it's gonna fall apart or it already fell apart and that's why you're moving on you have a clear mind clear emotions you know now you have the energy and the strength before you probably didn't have the strength to move on before you probably were just like okay i'm here you know you're stubborn taurus you're kind of like you're very grounded and if you're just somewhere you could just be putting up with it just for the hell of putting up until you realize like i actually don't want to be here you know, you got the clarity of emotion, clarity of mind. You're like, I don't want to be here. And then you got this nine of wands here saying that you have resilience and grit, last stand. Last stand, that means that you took, you, you that was your last time dealing with it. You're like, look, you know what? I'm over this. Like, I've been doing this for too long, putting up with it too long. I'm over it. I'm done. I'm, I'm moving on to the next thing, you know? So that's why, that that's what I'm getting here. Let's get one more card and we're going to end this reading. Okay. Give me one more message for Taurus. One more card. Let's, let's, ooh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Damn, that was four. So I'm gonna just take this card. You got the Knight of Swords. Seems like you are have been spending lots of time in your mind, uh, Taurus. And it's beautiful because it's helping you. So it's not a bad thing at all. Knight of Swords in, oh, it's in reverse, okay? So I'm like, I know what it means in the upright, but do I remember the reverse? Hmm, let me just pull out the Hepro card, honey. That's why they're here. If you need a little help, ask for it, God damn it. But yeah, the Knight of Swords in the reverse, no direction, disregard for consequences, unpredictability. So it this doesn't really make sense to me either. And I don't want to keep pulling more cards because this is this has to be short. But you're moving on, leaving some behind. You know, it's it's so interesting because this Knight of Swords in reverse is falling under the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is about transition, leaving behind and moving on. So it, it's giving me the vibe, Taurus, that even though you're moving on and transitioning from something new, you're leaving some behind, you have the resilience and the strength and the action and the passion to do so. Maybe, maybe, yeah, you have the passion to do so and the clarity to do so. You don't know what direction you're going to go in, you know, and you, you, you're not really thinking about the consequences of not having a plan, Taurus. You're, you're in a space where you're probably going to be a little bit more unpredictable, just kind of doing things or just moving on to the next thing while thinking about it first. And that could be detrimental for you because this Knight of Swords in reverse, like I said, is about having a disregard for consequences. So that could be a little warning from spirit that's like, okay, if you're going to move forward, at least move towards having direction. Because right now you have none. You're unpredictable and you, you're not thinking about the consequences quite frankly. And then you have this clarity of emotion and mind. So, I mean, Taurus, that's what I got for you. That's all I have for you, Taurus. I love you. I hope that was a good one for you, friends. So, I'll see y'all in the next one. If y'all show this one a whole lot of love, if not, you know, maybe I'll see you later on in the future. Either way, I love you. Peace, Taurus.